everyone and welcome to another video. This week we are going to be tackling the problem of switching from uh, 3D printing to laser engraving to CNC routing and then we're eventually going to go back to 3D printing with these Snapmaker machines. Now this is super easy, let me show you. So the snap makers, if you're not familiar, are three in one, uh, four axis machines. Uh, so they uh, do X, Y, Z, and then they also have a spindle attachment if you really wanted to get into that. We are not gonna be doing that. We're just gonna be, go straight into uh, replacing the head and replacing the bed. Those are the two things you gotta do uh, for each of the different modules uh, that the snap maker can do. So first and foremost, uh, we're gonna start with 3D printing. Now we have filament in, we just finished a 3D print, so what we need to do is uh, actually go and manually control the unit and take our filament out, uh, make sure that we're doing it the correct way, we're heating up the element, uh, and we're hitting unload uh, in the manual control part of the menu. Once the filament is out and correctly unloaded, uh, we want to uh, disconnect the head. So both the head and the bed for the 3D printer have uh, cable connections into the brain uh, of the unit because they both have temperature sensors uh, and heating elements that are controlled through uh, the brain of the unit. So we're going to disconnect both of those and we're going to take off the two screws that hold the head in place. Once those two screws are out, we're going to uh, remove the magnetic bed from the 3D printed uh, heated part of the bed. And underneath that uh, flexible sheet, we're gonna see a ton of screws. They are gonna use the exact same bit that we used to take the head off that comes with the machine, and we're gonna take out all of these screws. Once we have all of those screws out, congratulations, we have now taken the 3D printing module off, and it's time to put on the laser engraving module. So now we're gonna take the four parts that make up the laser engraving bed, it kinda of looks like a heat sink, and we're gonna lay them out onto uh, the snap maker. Now this aligns a little differently than the 3D printing bed as far as the holes in the sections of the bed uh, lining up with the receiving end of those bolts. The laser engraving bed actually uses less screws than the 3D printing bed does, and it doesn't have an extra layer to go on top of it. It just sits there. It has no plug-in component. Once we've got that in, we are going to take the laser head, we're going to line it up with the bolt holes on the receiving end, and then we're just gonna screw it in the exact same way that we unscrewed the 3D printing head. Next, we're gonna plug in the laser to the brain of the module, and that's it. Now obviously we have some calibration to do at this point if we were to actually laser engrave something and those are done step by step using the touch screen provided with the snap maker. But we're gonna go ahead and move right on and switch out this for the CNC routing head. So just like before, we unplug our laser engraving module, we take our CNC head module, we go ahead and we take the laser engraving module off and replace it with the CNC routing head and then we go back down to the bed part of the snap maker. We undo all of our little screws and bolts, remove the heat sink sections of the bed, replace them with the one piece CNC routing bed. Again, aligning this bed up with the receiving end of the holes on the base of the unit, screwing the holes in as they line up. And again, we don't have to plug in anything. This unit does not have any heating element or control element. It comes exactly how it is. And that's it, we're ready to CNC engrave something. Now again, just like we said with the laser module, here we would choose our bit, we would do calibration. There's several steps involved before we actually uh, CNC route anything, but we're not gonna do any of that because all we're gonna do is set up the machine to do something like that. We're gonna switch out the head. So, we got CNC routing, now we're gonna go right back to 3D printing, simply by removing the cable from the CNC routing head, releasing the two bolts on the back with the provided screwdriver, and replacing the CNC routing head with our 3D printing head, removing the bolts from the CNC routing bed, removing the CNC bed, and replacing it with the heated section of the 3D printing bed, putting all of those screws back into place, and then placing the flexible, removable side of the 3D printing bed back on top. Then we can plug both the 3D printing head 
and the 3D printing bed back into the unit and start the unit back up again to start 3D printing again. And that's it. Snapmakers are incredible machines. They are the definition of versatility and they are so easy to switch out heads. I hope you learned something in this video and we'll come check out all the wonderful things we've got going on. If I can do it, you can do it too. And I look forward to seeing what you make.